Hello data folks. Thanks for joining me again on our channel for data and IT professionals. As some of you may already be aware, Snowflake plans to retire password only authentication later this year. So in this video, I'll show you how to set up your DBT cloud to Snowflake connection using the more secure key pair authentication. All right, let's jump straight into it. We'll need to run a few commands. I've placed them in my Git repository and shared the link in the video description to make things easy for you. The first two commands need to be run in a terminal where OpenSSL is available. The last command should be run in Snowflake. OpenSSL is mostly available on all Linux systems. You can simply type OpenSSL version to check if it's presence. Windows users can use either the Git Bash or WSL Ubuntu app. I prefer Git Bash because it's a lightweight option. If you don't have Git Bash already, you can easily download and install Git from the official website. Once installed, you can open Git Bash and start using it. This is what we are going to do now. With the help of OpenSSL, we generate a private key and a matching public key. The public key is created from the private key, so they form a unique pair. Next, we configure Snowflake, more specifically the Snowflake user account with the public key. Similarly, the private key is configured in the external system or tool that will connect to Snowflake. In our case, it's dbt. This setup creates a secure handshake between the external system and Snowflake. The external system uses the private key to sign its connection request, and Snowflake verifies the request using the public key configured for that user. If the verification succeeds, the connection is established. Let's do it step by step. First, execute the command to generate the private key. You can optionally encrypt the private key with a password. So even if someone within your company accidentally gets hold of private key, they won't be able to use it without the password to decrypt it. If you want that extra layer of protection, please use option A. Others can go with option B. Let's use option A for this demo. Enter the encryption password. Type it again to confirm. The private key is now generated and stored in the key file name you specified in the command. Next, execute the command to create the public key. You'll pass the name of the private key file in this command, so it will need the password to decrypt it. We've now created both keys successfully. You can simply cat the files to view their contents. Now, as the next step, let's configure the public key in Snowflake for the specific user ID or service ID. Perfect. As a quick note, not everyone has access to run this command. So if you face any issues, please get in touch with your Snowflake admin. Next, let's configure the private key in dbt. Please go to your account settings, then to credentials. You can edit those details now. Set the authentication method to key pair. Enter the private key we generated earlier. Also type in the encryption password. That's it. We can now test the connection. Wonderful. We've successfully set up key pair authentication from DBT Cloud to Snowflake. Please note, each user has to generate their own private public key pair and configure it accordingly. That's all for today. Please stay tuned for our next video, where we'll explore more data technologies. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button to stay up to date with our latest content. Thanks for watching.